Hi, this is Melissa with Will Hoyt Training. I want to take a few minutes to show some basics of OneSite, which is a product of RealPage. This tutorial is not intended to go over the details of our processes, but to show you how to understand the system and its help features. We use many RealPage products, and with time, these systems will become very familiar to you. We enter our prospects to track our guests or leads. We use RealPage screening to provide third-party screening on applicants and continue through the entire move-in process in OneSite. We utilize OneSite purchasing and pay invoices through OneSite. All maintenance items are handled through the OneSite facilities page, including tracking service requests, make readies, preventative maintenance, and assets. All data entered in OneSite can be pulled directly or through the reporting page by anyone with access to your property. The administration page is where you perform accounting and other functions for tax credits, such as bulk recertifications and electronic reporting. When you get your username and password, you will log on to a web address. For one site, make sure you are working from Internet Explorer, not Chrome or Firefox. This system is intended for Internet Explorer, so some features will not work if you use another web browser. The web address is https colon forward slash forward slash wilhoitproperties.onesite.realpage.com. If you stop before logging in to read the first page, RealPage provides good information about upcoming product updates. Look at the note for OneSite quarterly release on this page. They may also reference products that we do not use, so try not to get hung up on items that may not make sense to you on this screen. They do offer a what's new, what's coming tutorial, which works best for viewing in Chrome. Now I'll log in. You will get your credentials from helpdesk at wilhoitproperties.com. If you manage one property, one site should default to your site upon login. If you manage multiple properties, you will need to select which property you want to work from. To do this, click on the drop down under one site to select your property. Once you are at your current property, you will be viewing your today page. This is like a car dashboard. While the car does many things, you only have indicators of the most important on your dashboard, like how fast you're going, how much gas you have. Pretty important, right? Well, you can customize your One Site Today page. To do this, you could select Customize and select which items are most important to you. Maybe you're no longer interested in looking at the renewals you want to include your verification letters. So you could move that over to have on your dashboard. If I use the drop down, I might be able to find other items like service requests to include. Just move the items around. Let's see if I can get this to look nice. and I'll just X out of the item that I'm not interested in and at the bottom select save. Now my service requests are shown at the top and the other items are arranged the way I'd like. Just remember that your regional may have a specific configuration that they want you to view on your dashboard, so make sure to inquire with them for any preferences. Now going back to the top, let's look at the navigation bars. I hear some people call them the hamburger or pancakes. I can kind of see that. If you click on the bars, it'll allow you to navigate to different areas in one site. The today page, prospects to add your traffic, applicants to manage your app applicants, residents for the current residents, um, facilities for service requests, make readies, assets, purchasing when you are paying bills, docs to upload important information into OneSite, reporting um, feature payments when you're entering resident payments, lease star, affordable administration, learning, and then central. So you can get to all areas of OneSite through the navigation bars. Next, notice the three orange dots in a triangle position. If you click there, you will get to see the info about your property page. 
if you ever need to call RealPage for support, they will need you to give them the property ID from this page. At the bottom, you will see their contact information listed. Very simple phone number, 187 RealPage. Very easy to remember. Let me go ahead and close out of this. Let's talk about the gear wheel. This will take you to setup. Here, you can update the manager's name for letters and notices. Click on the gear wheel, and on the left, under General Information and Property Settings, then select General Information. You will find the location to update the property manager's first and last name. Once you have updated that information, on the right, select the check mark to save and close. Now, any newly generated letter or notice that include the manager's name will have that updated information. On the far right, you will see your name. Use the drop-down arrow when you need to log out. Under that drop-down arrow, you will see three gray dots in a triangle position. These represent one-site thinking, like the hourglass you see in other web pages. They will turn orange and rotate. If they are moving, this means the system is thinking and you will not need to click again. From the Prospects page, let's look at the Help feature. Click Help. Help will open in another window. Look to the left to find topics of interest, and within each topic, you will find other related topics to expand the detail of the topic. Also, notice downloads at the top right. If you select there, there are several guides to help you through different areas of this topic. I'm going to select the quick steps. Be aware that these instructions are not Wilhoit specific, they are one site specific. So you may find items that are not relevant to you. For instance, on these quick steps, it references unit transfers with an affordable wait list but we use the conventional wait list at most of our sites. Look for guidance in these areas in the Will Hoyt training manual or Will Hoyt compliance training manual. However, overall, you will find these step-by-step -step on other processes very helpful while managing your prospects tab. These one-site quick steps can be downloaded or printed for quick reference. The help feature is location specific. So wherever you navigate to in one site, you will find the topics are relevant. Let's move on to the Facilities page. There are sub-tabs within the Facilities page. I'll select Service Requests. Now, I'll select My Help. Notice the topics are related to Facilities Maintenance and Repair. On the left, I can learn how to work with service requests or even complete them in bulk. On the right, under Downloads, I'm looking for Facilities 3.0 Quick Steps. So now I also have Quick Steps for anything service request related. Well, that's it for now for OneSite Basics and Help Overview. Thanks for listening.